How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. We found the last of the major upgrades. The screw attack. Ah, oh, the screw attack. It's crazy how uh, far in the game you get before you get the screw attack. It's pretty nuts, actually. But there we go. Now we have uh, infinite jumping and you can attack while you're in uh, in the screw attack. So yay, that's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I also found out, I wasn't paying attention, but um, the reason why there's only two shots instead of three is because you can either have the spacer or the the um, or the or plasma beam. And the plasma beam is definitely the more powerful one, so that's the one you have. So, And there we go. I really need that energy out of that fight with the... Uh, did I call chorizo last time? Isn't that like a food? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. There we go. So yay, let's keep going through Lower Norfair, Ridley's lair, and find out where he is, where he's hiding. Also, just satisfying. This type of stuff, I love it. I'm not hitting any of them except for the one, but basically you can kill them all uh, with your uh, with your screw attack, which is just really great. Plus, they give me super missiles, which is always awesome. So yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And clearly we can go up there. I mean, look at the map. It says we can go up there, but let's go to the right first, see what we got. Oh, something over here. Don't know which way I want to go, though. You know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. Is that gonna... It's gonna keep going up. Oh, man. Oh, man. This was not the right decision. Oh, right, let's go over here, where for no reason there is no lava. But I want to see. I want to see what's up here. It's clear that something's up there. So I'm all curious now. Eh, eh. Oh, still can't beat those guys. Holy shit! Oh, the power bombs hurt them though. What if I can? Oops! Why do I have the grapple beam on? There we go. Okay, so a charge version is pretty good. Where am I? Hmm. Oh, it's always fun to explore. It always, always is fun to explore. Man, the enemies here remind me of the original Metroid so much. And... Over here? Okay. Oh, jeez. This is fast. Um... Stop. There we go. Can't really aim up there. It's kind of annoying. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't uh, breaking originally. Hmm. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna come this way. I think I'm just looping around back to um, the elevator. So you know what? Let's leave that be. Let me go back. Let's actually look at the map. Yeah, it looks like I'd just be going right back to the entrance, which I don't need to do, so... Let's get our power bombs going. These guys are very powerful, too, so we gotta be careful. Excuse me. Oh, trapped in a wall. Excuse me again. Alright, let's move on. Back through here, which we need the screw attack for. So I guess if, um... If you went the right way, like, to, to the right instead of the left at the beginning, then you would have been here and be like, why can't I break a lot of these blocks? I think, I don't know if they need to be screw attack specific, but, I mean, what's the point of the screw attack if it's not specifically has to be the screw attack, right? Jeez. Oh, I can screw attack these guys. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, oh, I can also be an idiot and not jump properly. That's always a good strategy. Oh, come on, man. Learn how to, learn how to Space jump, please. Come on! Like, ah! It's so weird that if you, if you get too much downward momentum, it's like, nope, you're falling now. You cannot do the jump. And I don't really get it. I don't know. It's easier in the later Metroid games. This is also the first Metroid game with... Ooh, nice. Didn't expect that, actually. Uh, the first Metroid game with... Uh, uh, with the space jump, so you know what I mean. Oh, we're on the top of here now. Nice. Oh, good. It means we can get whatever is over here. Ha-ha! That one's a fairly obvious one, though. I mean, you can just look at it and be like, there's something clearly weird there. But we're going to keep going. Back out. And back. Oh, no, no. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, I'll meet you back to where I was, guys. All right, back at the crossroads. We had gone up there, and now we're going to go to the right. Heading in towards Ridley. He can't run away from us. Oh, God. 
This is just, well, down we go. Oh geez, there's lava. Oh, that's a lot of lava. I'm just gonna, oh please space jump work this time. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, thank God for the platforms. Holy crap, holy crap. Ah, no, get on my, no, I need to, I need to screw attack. Thank you. Holy nuts. Well, that's a scary place, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And... Hmm. There we go. But to say, this is really familiar. Actually, I know this place fairly decently. It's like one of the few places, because I have the Ridley Mouth. Perfect. Perfect. Wait, because I really need what's coming up. We're just going to go... Actually, can I just bam you? There we go. Boom, there we go. Yeah. Why wouldn't you go into the Ridley Mouth? I love that. The mouth, and then you get here, you get the claws. Oh, I want to be careful here, because I don't want to break too many of these guys. But over here, we get an energy tank, which is great. Because I wouldn't mind some health right now, because we're like about to fight Ridley. So... Yes, yes, energy tank, thank you. Alright, let's do this. Get out of here. I like that one, though. It's really cool. Really well done. Let's go back. And uh, we can leave the area by going up, I believe, because that's kind of the, where you're supposed to go after you beat Ridley. But let's, you know, go ahead and beat Ridley. Definitely be the first thing on the docket today. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Can I just beat you with a screw attack? Of course I can way faster than a bunch of missiles and a bunch of shots. These enemies are going to take a lot more uh, a lot more uh, damage and whatnot because, you know, they're definitely stronger. Save here, too. <laughs> if this isn't telling me there's a boss fight coming up, then I don't know what is. I don't know how much farther we have to go, but well, we got to keep going, so. Ooh, what is over here? Um, super, or power bomb it is. We have so many power bombs, there's no sense in not using them. There we go. Awesome. And another, please. Thank you. Down we go. Um, something weird here. To the left? There we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's so weird. This whole place is very secretive. On purpose, I bet. Get on my face, bitch. Also, you upside down, bitch. And down. Oh, jeez. Down there. A little obvious. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at this. Perfect. Oh, another power bomb. Wait, is that it? Is that every power bomb? I don't remember how many power bombs I have. I have 36 right now, but I don't know how many in total I have right now. But I might have all the power bomb things in the game at the moment. Oh, I can't find out. Oh, well. I have at least eight. Or else I wouldn't be able to get 36, so there's that. Oh, weird. Ah, jeez. Oh, friggin' hell. I knew that was, like, gonna happen, but I'm so used to watching speedrunners just, like, glitch through those, so I'm not used to seeing them, like, normally what they're supposed to do. And this room, I believe, is the... Yes, okay. So these guys are crazy, as you can see. Oh, jeez. Um, my buddy Ryan, who is a huge Super Metroid fan... How do you kill these guys? Uh, he's a big Super Metroid fan. Oh, damn, there's two of them. And, uh... Oh, that. That's how when you have to. Um, and he once uh, was saying how he could speedrun the game. And this was before, like, I got into speedruns and stuff. And, uh, he got all the way here in, like, I don't know how long, but it felt very, like, very good time. Um... But then he died at this room, because, you know, he's, like, purposely skipping, like, upgrades and stuff. So we all felt bad. He was, like, he was like, doing it for all of us. Like, we had a little party going on, and uh, that's just what we happened to do during the party, because we're a bunch of dorks, right? So, you know, why not do a Super Metroid speedrun? Uh, but he, he was really good at the game. The guy is a big Super Metroid guy. He's got um, uh, the screw attack thing, I think, tattooed on, like, his shoulder or something. Pretty nifty. Oh, wow, this is very... NES. So NES. So retro. I'm just gonna, just gonna skip all y'all. <laughs> it's not like I need power bombs or anything like that to do the next fight. Pretty much full life and as full as I'm gonna get for super missiles and stuff, so. I'm good for equipment. Ah, there we go. Damn. There we go. Alright, let's do it. Let's do the last of the regular bosses. It is. No one. Oh, God. Hello, Ridley. 
Oh, where'd you go? Ah, he's scary. I really don't like Ridley. <laughs> he's actually fairly difficult because, like, he stays away from you and he's fairly fast. Ah, shit, I'm so bad at this. Doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. If you keep doing that pogo thing, that'd be great. Oh, please let me go. I don't like Ridley bad touch. Where'd you go? No. Eh. Doing okay. He's not doing all that much damage to me. I have zero idea how much health he has, though. Um, playing Super Metroid and... Or, sorry, Zero Mission. Metroid Zero Mission and and uh, that other one. Fo uh, Fusion. I've done low percent runs on those. And beating Ridley is so... Actually, it's probably faster with my charge being at this point. Um, being super... Uh, super... super uh, yeah, Ridley with, like, no equipment and no health is so ridiculous. But it is possible. I've done it. But it's just bonkers difficult. Ah, let go. Shit. He's doing a lot more damage right now. I don't have any super missiles. Please be dead soon. Shit, he's doing a lot of damage right now. Oh, he's dead? Nice! Oh, awesome! Wow. Very cool. I bet if I had a bunch of super, more super missiles, like my full super missile thing, you probably would have been a lot easier for me, but... Awesome, there we go. So let's rescue the uh, baby Metroid. Get the hell out of here. So, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Baby? Baby? No! Anyways, I'm going crazy. Uh, there is a knee tank here. Boink. Just like in the first game, there is an E-Tank in the Ridley fight. Well, in the original game, it's in the Ridley fight. But, alright, now that um, the Super Me the Baby Metroid, the, the Super Metroid, uh, the Baby Metroid is no longer there, um, we kind of just go on, I guess. We we know that we can get into Torian now, so let's uh, head back there. It's kind of crazy that we're basically done. The game, like, after Torian, we're done. We're good. Forever. I'll never play Metroid again. Um, but let's get out of here. With, with the crazy space jump. And, yeah, so now they have the screw attack. Like I was saying yesterday. Why do I keep saying yesterday? Last episode. We are free to go anywhere in the game now. Um, and get every item. There are no items in Torian. Uh, just like in the original game, there are no upgrades or anything in Torian. Do I fight you guys again? Can I just move on, please? Yeah, okay, good. And, uh... You, you can go and get everything, but I don't know where everything is. Um, anything that I've missed in, like, Brinstar and, uh, and uh, Norfair and all there, uh, all those places by now, it means I didn't know where they were in the first place. But we still have, like, a little bit longer to go that we haven't explored yet, you know, to get out of here. So hopefully we'll find a couple more things. But um, overall, I mean, considering we're basically done with everything that I can find... Uh, I believe I did fairly good. I hope so, anyways. Oh, oh, there we go. And... Shit, where are we now? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. It's a hassle just to get out of here. Nice. And... Back out we go. Won't bother with saving. I won't die on the way back home. I mean, there's nothing really stopping me from getting into safe territory, so. Though I wouldn't mind a missile restock. Do the missile restocks do um, super missiles too? Is it just regular missiles? I don't even remember. But in the end, uh, we're going to go to Samus' ship beforehand so that we can, you know, completely um, restock. Hello, rocks. That's the biggest crazy thing in, you know, in my way now is rocks that do 10 damage. Oh no, so difficult. Anything over here? Oh, oh, wall, there we go. Where's this go? Hmm, well, very cool. Screw attack, cross everything, whoops, wrong button. And over here. Oh, wow. The easiest missile. Which means there's gotta be something here. Something. Something pissing me off. There we go. Perfect. 
Ooh, a bunch of them. Um, nope. I want the top one, maybe? There we go. Oh, weird. Uh, shit, how's this work? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Just gonna keep jumping, keep jumping. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Where's this leading me? Like, back? To where I was? Oh. Um. Um. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, so if I had gone right instead of through the wall, then I would have, you know, I would have, I would have seen it and be like, how can I get to it? And that would have kind of led me to believe that there would have been something beyond that regular missile, which, you know, I figured out anyways, because it's just weird to have a regular missile and nothing else kind of sitting there, so. Let us keep going, shall we? Oh, jeez. Lava. Lava. Ooh, I don't think that regular lava does anything to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just going to wait up here. <laughs> Remember this one. My buddy Ryan showed me this one. Oh, oh, oh. There's, I'm pretty sure there's something here. There we go. I, I remember thinking that and being like, what the hell? How was anyone supposed to do that? And Ryan's just like, well, you, you x ray everywhere. And I'm pretty sure he had Nintendo Power, this lying bastard. Um, are we almost out of Ridley's lair? I can't imagine there being that much more to go. I guess I could have just screw attack through you guys <laughs> instead of wasting my time uh, shooting with the, all my weapons. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. I doing good. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, weird. What is this? Whoa, everything's like falling apart. Jeez, this is weird. Huh. But it looks like it's going to bring me back to... Yeah, regular Norfair. Cool stuff. That is pretty awesome. Um, wow, I think we did a pretty good job of Norfair in general. Um, I'm going to make my way back to... Uh, well, Criteria, I guess, because we're going to go back to where um, Torian's going to be. And we'll basically call it an episode. So a bit of a shorter episode today because, I mean... It makes sense. Like... The next episode will be Torian. Awesome. Part of me wants to see what's in that blue space, though. You know what? Let's take a detour. We got the time, don't we? Sure. We got two minutes. Let's, uh... Let's do it to it. No idea how to get anywhere anymore. <laughs> yeah. I wish we'd do things like on uh, like across the screen too, not just on the screen. Um, go down, I guess. Cool. Nope. <sighs> guess not. Um, actually, no. I think it still works out. Why not? I know we could do a lot more exploring too. Like we could probably do this to to Brinstar and Criteria. And be like, oh, what haven't we done on the map? But this is like on the way, so that's why I'm counting it. It's kind of on the way, not really. But normally I just like tell you, hey, let's get back to uh, to criteria in general. Can I go through here? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, haha, with the beam, I can totally do that now. The wavy beam. Oh, well, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Damn. Slow somersaults. And restock, might as well. I have no idea where I am now. Do we go up here? No, we don't. Keep going. How, why did I go there? Now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, why is that the one place that I didn't go in all of Norfair? This is around where I got the grapple beam. Hmm. Yeah, I went there and saved and everything, and I didn't keep going up. How dare I not explore completely? Don't even know if there's probably anything in here. So I don't even know if there's going to be anything good. Ha-ha! Oh, that's why I didn't go there the first time. 
I was wondering, I was like, well, I must have gotten that if I went here, but this is like way at the beginning of the game when you first go to Norfair. That makes way more sense. I guess I could have gone down there too, <laughs> looked on, but whatever. Let's make our way back. Do you guys mind if you join me on the way back to Criteria? I mean, if you want to, if you really want to, you can close this episode up and tune in next episode. We'll be at the entrance to Torian, which you guys should know where it is. It's the very beginning of the game with the four statues. Um, but you know what? Who cares? Let's, uh, let's make the trip together. Why not? We're almost done the game, right? So it's like, let's take a little time for ourselves. So now we are back in Brinstar. And there's two places. Oh, I... Wait, no, I'm in, I'm in Meridia right now. I still have no idea how to get... Oh, no, I, I, I looked it up, and it, I can't do it. I looked up how to get that blue thing in Meridia, and because I did that, I can't count it. I didn't figure it out myself. And to be really honest, I wouldn't have figured it out. When I do my whole, like, hey, here's all the things I missed, I'll tell you about it, obviously, but it wouldn't be fair to my percentage collection right now without knowing it. It looks like I've only missed only a couple things. That's pretty good. Let's make our way there, shall we? I believe we shall. <laughs> I also know there's that um, that missile expansion. Do you remember the area where there's two missile expansions? I went on the, the right and I could have gone to the left when I, when I fell down. And you have like the choice. I remember that too. So I guess I could get that and that would totally count because I totally found where that was. Why am I so bad at space jumps? Space jumps are the worst thing for me. So I'm just gonna wall jump instead, I guess. Come on, there we go. Um, okay, everything there. Yeah, I apologize if you don't want to watch this because, you know, you're just like, come on, Phil, get on with it. But again, you can just close the episode up. We're not doing anything crazy anyways. We've done everything mandatory for the game up to this point. So, having a little bit of Phil time, a little me time, I deserve it. I gotta treat myself. When you play Metroid, you treat yourself. Get away from me. Keep her going, keep her going. Up the steps. It's so weird seeing these places and going like backwards through them and stuff. It's the fun of uh, Metroid games, I guess. Metroidvanias. Being able to do all that fun stuff. Okay, so we have the one down here. That I couldn't figure out last time I was there. And then it turns out that using the X-ray scope you can see that there were boosty pads. But I didn't have the gravity suit yet, so I wasn't able to do anything because of this water, but now I can. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Damn you little slug things. You're the bane of my existence. Nice, there we go. Oh, oh well, so is here. Oh, it's another E-Tank, nice. I'm always up for getting an E-Tank. Very cool. And anything here? Just in case. All right, and one more thing that it looks like I should be able to get without any real problems. So, I mean, it's it's Brinstar, right? Like, there's not going to be like crazy hidden things in Brinstar. It's so early in the game. Though that being said, Criteria does have an entire friggin' section that you can't really get into unless you really, really explore. So, you know, never know. Oh, you just go th through these? Why were those? Oh, these are specifically bomb blocks, I guess. Um, where's the other one? Ah, okay, over there. Ow. Is it here? I'm so bad with maps all of a sudden. The map isn't big enough. It's only giving me a three by, uh, three by five square, and it's just not, not quite enough, you know? How did I not get the thing that was in here? Oh, that's why. Okay. Now with the, the beam. Bam, there we go. So what is it? Oh shit. I guess I gotta, gotta kill the things first too. Jeez, that's the only thing keeping me from my prize. There we go. And we get... Oh nice, another E-Tank! Jeez, holy crap, so I'm only missing one E-Tank. And um, that place in Meridia that I couldn't get to, that I'm telling you that I could go now, but I, I didn't earn that place myself, is an E-Tank. And a missile tank, so I know for a fact that I missed both of those things. All right, let's head on. We're at 25 minutes right now. Fun. Always fun to have a nice long episode near the end of the game. Let's make our way back to Criteria pretty quickly. Oh, jeez. Hello. Ah. 
Um, how do we get out of here? Oh, I guess I gotta go to the right too, but no. The, the proper way to go, which will actually bring me right to the door that I need to go to, will be right over here. And that'll be all for today. Hard to believe we're just about done. This will be, um, ah, shit. <laughs> It'll be 12 episodes. Uh, that this will have lasted, which is pretty good. That's uh, I was telling John, my buddy John, who watches, uh, I, I, that's why I kind of estimated it was going to be about 12 episodes, and looks like I was right, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it could be more if I really wanted to explore and whatnot. These were longer episodes, too. There was a couple episodes. Um, I don't think there's a single episode that went under, like, 19 minutes. Everything else has been pretty, pretty much either 20 or, or longer. So, good on me for that, I guess. Means I'm providing... Nice, long amounts of things. Plus, I like games with collectible things like this. I find watching and making Let's Plays on that type of stuff, like, the episodes don't feel as long because you're, you're getting a lot of things as you go along, right? So, anyways, we are basically at the end now. Let's take a look at that map. Yeah. Pretty damn good. The only thing I know I can get is the one that's a, a, kind of a weird one that I fell down there. Um, but I'm going to go to the ship and... Um, get ready, basically. Get all my stuff all good. And... First, I'm actually gonna... Go here. And go to where the the gold statues are. Because this is where we're gonna start the next episode, so... Might as well get there myself and end the episode and then do my stuff off screen. But here were the four statues. And if you do come back here when you've killed one of the bosses, this does happen. But it's fun to do it all together. There's a crane dies, and there's Phantom. And it looks like their like, soul disappears or something like that. It's really cool. Now we have Dragon. <sighs> and last but not least, Ridley himself. And with that, guys, we can get into Torian. And I am filling the blanks, and I will see you guys next level. Oh, it's so spooky. It's so spooky. keeps going doesn't it all right hey thanks for watching if you like this episode click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up if you want to support my channel share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on patreon